So you know in my previous video where I showcased Inno's Transceive gear and I said at the end, how has this been approved so quickly because there's so many other mods waiting to be approved? Well, another one's just dropped and many more because so many mods just dropped straight after that. And now we're showcasing some of them off. This is the next one. This is Kalenkin, the first terror bird to be coming. Oh, well, to be in Path of Titans because it's out now. This is the next mod made by Primordial Tyrant. The mod after that that they're working on, I believe, is Psittacosaurus. Anyways, this thing looks awesome. So let's showcase it off. This is Kalenkin. This is the male. And that is the female. The female is more browns instead of obviously the blues and the, the more blended colours. I'm not going to be able to pronounce these subspecies well, so here's a warning. Uh, the first one is Guillemois, which is standard. Then you've got Guillemois variation 1, which is brow feathers, so it's got some little feathers on its brow. Then you've got Guillemois variation 2, which is more feathers, bigger feathers, head feathers. Then you've got variation 3, which is head and brow feathers. Then you have variation 4, which I believe has more feathers all over this one has also some tweaks to the skull as well on the beak it becomes more pronounced the body itself becomes more thick so to say then you've got variation five which is titanus which is based off another terror bird and then you've got for rachus i've pronounced that one terribly wrong but obviously a beak change more feathering as well i think the build of it's changed as well which is pretty cool then you go back to Guillemot, which is the standard one. Now let's showcase everything else. The baby, the skins, all that jazz. Let's get to it. This thing has a lot of skins. You have around 13 skins, uh, if I've counted that correctly. The standard one is this one. This is the default skin. Here's the patterns on it right here. And also, I've got to say, they've done incredible with this model. This model is beautiful. I love the detail, the feathering, all that. The next skin is Runner. He's a runner, she's a track star. Don't know why I say that, but yep. Then it's Snowhawk, perfect for a snowy map. Then you've got Konya. Definitely said that really wrong. Nice patterns though. Then you have Caracilla. Love this one. Very nice skin. Carasso? I don't know how to say that either, but this one is definitely my favourite one so far. I love the oranges, I love the browns, I love the way it blends with blues and blacks as well. You've got Loon. Another very nice skin. Nice blacks and whites there. Then you have Lamagea. <laughs> Once again, really badly pronounced that one. Nice skins as well. Then you've got the albino one, which is obviously just white. The melanistic one as well. And then Columba, which looks like a pigeon. Very nice. And then Harpy, based off a Harpy Eagle. And then you have Kestrel, which is based off a Kestrel. A very nice mod. Very nice skins, very nice colours, and this is the baby. I know, it's it's tiny, it's adorable. This is the baby. Let's go, you know. It's <laughs> look at his little face, look at his little eyes. It's so adorably cute. I just want to give it a hug. But this thing comes with a standard attack. And it can jump quite well as well. I love the way its little little wings flap. Obviously, it can't fly, but those little flappy wings are adorable. Uh, anyways, this is the baby sounds. I love that. I love the way the beaks chatter. It's so nice. Oh, and the little dancey dance. Okay, that's the mystery emote. Oh, by the way, when it's looking at you like this, it looks angry. Look at it. It's like, hey, who took my lunch money? What'd you do with my lunch? Who ate it? I don't know why I went to that, but yeah. Just an angry little birdie. Then you've got to look around of this dumb little bird. Then the feather scratch. A little scratchy scratch, a little pecky peck. Pecking at the fleas on his body because he's a dirty boy. And then, obviously, the shake. Oh, that is adorable. That is really cute. Okay, that is that. Now, let's showcase the adult. 
So this thing comes with a fair few abilities as well, kind of standard with the Primordial Tyrants mods, they're all really nicely thought through. You've got Standard, which is standard stats with no positive or negatives, then you've got Stamina, which is plus 10% Stamina Recovery Rate, Speed, plus 5% Speed, and plus 3% Attack as well. Then you've got the Head, which comes with Bludgeon, which causes high damage, and Bite, which causes medium damage. Then for the Front Limbs, you've got Feather Fan, which is a quick forward boost of speed which is kind of like the tail fan that Deinonychus has. Then for your diets you've got sugar tooth which allows you to eat fruits, roots and meat. Then you've got scavenger that allows you to eat meat, fish, carrion bones. Then hyper carnivore which allows you to only eat meat, food and water. Then for the hide you've got your standard hide and you've got lightweight. Lightweight increases your speed by 10% but decreases turn radius by 25. Then you have your kick which causes medium damage and then for your back limb you've got your more passive abilities again. Sure footed which lowers fall damage by 20%, Steady Claws which is plus 10% turn radius increase and Long Strides which is 5% increased sprint speed. Now let's showcase off all of the cool stuff when it comes to the attack. So you've got your standard peck, then you've got Bludgeon, oh wow that is a fast attack. Then you've got Feather Fan so we need to show this off while moving. Okay so quick burst of speed, no sound effect on it. Uh, let's showcase it while we're running, maybe. Right, let's... Whoa. I wonder why it's like when you run and jump. Like Deinonychus Tail Fan, surely it gives a good boost. You know what? That's a nice little boost right there, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. It looks like the kick you can only do while running. So this is the kick. Let's see if I can get this positioned right. I can't showcase that off properly. Whoa! It's really cool. It's like the Strufio kick before it was able to be done while stood still. That's really nice. I like that. So you've got two attacks that you could do wherever and one that can only be done while running. So you don't have big variation in the attacks, but regardless, it's a very, very cool mod. And that's awesome to see. Now let's showcase the calls as an adult. Strap yourselves in. Have a listen. That was the broadcast. Friendly. That one's my favourite. I love the clicking. It's so nice. I've accidentally done the wrong one, but it's this dancey dance. I just gotta say, whoever's done the sound design on this mod has done incredible. I love just the beak chattering. I've done the wrong one again. And you got Scratch. Oh. And he scratches his feathers as well. Very cute. And then Shake. I love the Shake. This one, another fantastically well-made mod. Great work by the Primordial Tyrants team on this one. This is the Kalenkin. And it's out now. Go check it out. Let me know what you think about this beast in the comments. But yeah, I'm super excited and super happy to see this one in the game. I think a lot of you are as well. And did you see the teaser trailer for it as well? A really nice teaser trailer. The person who made it, done a fantastic job. Especially from a videography standpoint. Fantastic work to you as well. And a fantastic job to the whole, the Prime Audio Challenge team who've worked on this. Once again, showing incredible skill. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts about Kalenkin in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.